Nestor and Leroux were not only coming off straight set wins on Friday, but as doubles partners, a quarterfinal berth in the Australian Open last week. Needless to say, they were even more impressive in disposing of Jamaica's Doug Burke and Carl Hale, also in straight sets, 6-1, 6-1, 6-2, -1, to clinch the tie. I think our problem at the Australian Open was communication and teamwork, and that was the reason we played so well today. We played very solid, and I think if we would have had a little more of that in the Australian Open, we could have done better. I can't say that I'm surprised that we won 3-0, but I think that our level of play was really good under the circumstances, and going up there as the favorites and having so much pressure, and uh, I think we both played really well, and it was a great, uh, the whole team was really important. We had a great training camp, and it was uh, really what made us be ready for those matches. For Jamaica, it was simply a case of too much power in Nestor's serve and too much punch in LaRoe's counters at the net. And even though Burke and Hale have known the two for years now, they didn't stand a chance. They're one of the best teams in the world. You know, just knowing from uh, other players and, you know, Daniel has one of the best serves in the world and Sebastian has one of the best returns. So, you know, they're a great team and they're going to do really well in the future. Based on our, knowledge, our knowledge of the players and, you know, hopefully our experience, we if we were able to get off to a quick start in the matches, we might, be, might have been able to do something. So the tandem of Nestor and Leroux absolutely overpowering in sweeping the first three matches of this best of five. That leaves two meaningless singles matches to wrap things up here tomorrow. And then it's on to their next opponent, either Guatemala or Colombia. Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Ottawa.